chances are you use Gmail for your email. Statistically speaking, we all do, especially if we're hanging out here on YouTube right now, you're probably using the same account that you use for your email. What if I told you you're part of the problem and all of us moving to Gmail is actually killing email? Let's talk about it a bit. If you're not familiar with the history of Gmail, it started all the way back in 2004 as a challenger to existing browser-based email solutions like Yahoo Mail and Hotmail. The big differentiator for Gmail was the use of Ajax. I could go into the technical mumbo jumbo, but the easy way of putting it is every time you click a button in Hotmail or Yahoo Mail back then, it wouldn't do something on the page you're on. It would send a request to the server and load an entirely new page every time you pressed any button, which meant it sucked to use because you couldn't refresh and have a new email appear. You had to refresh and reload the whole entire page. And when the internet was much slower, that sucked terribly. The thing that made Gmail special is you would click a button and it would just load a little bit of new data for what you did there. And you could send an email and not leave the page you were already on. The interactivity of your email in the browser went from zero to 100 really quick. As a result, pretty much everyone moved over to Gmail because it was way better for us to do. It just felt much better to use Gmail. On top of that, Google's spam filtering and all of their tools around protecting our inboxes were world-class and way better than anything else that existed. And it almost felt irresponsible to not use Gmail. Nowadays, it is irresponsible to not use Gmail, but the reasons have changed quite a bit. I saw a blog post a few days ago on Hacker News, and it's got me thinking a lot about this because due to the nature of how Google runs Gmail, it is effectively impossible to compete with Gmail or even provide your own email service because there's a high chance Google will randomly start throwing all your emails in the bucket. They'll just toss you in spam. And this is sadly common. If you've run an email server in the last 10 years, nothing I'm saying right now is news to you. It really sucks to try and send emails from any system that isn't run by Google because they will randomly throw things away based on the domain, based on the headers that they're being sent with. And the rules on how to keep your email in good standing with Google aren't really defined and shift all over the place all of the time. And as a result, I have to be careful when I advise what email services for companies and individuals to use, because if they're not using Gmail, they're going to have emails get eaten by Gmail and spam filters for no good reason. I actually lost out on an apartment I was trying to move into because an email I sent for my domain, which was hosted on ProtonMail, got eaten by the Gmail server I sent it to. And when I eventually caved and moved to Google Workspaces, I have not had an, a single issue since. And as I mentioned with this blog post, I am I'm sadly far from alone here. This post was written by a developer who has been running into endless problems recently, even though with all of the tools Google provides, including the Google Postmaster tooling system and uh, health checks for your email, they've never had anything but a perfect rate, yet Gmail is rate limiting them. They're only able to send a certain number of emails over a certain amount of time from their domain, regardless of how many customers they have and how many emails they've sent in the past. There are over 3,500 Gmail customers that didn't get a booking email for over 12 hours because Google internally rate limited that domain's ability to send email. That's insane. That's one of the closest things I've seen to a monopoly flex in a while. And the, the sad part is I, I get it and I sympathize with Google. Making good spam filters and detection is really hard and there isn't good incentive to do it in a way that isn't anti-competitive. They're trying to do the thing the users want, which is get them less spam and there isn't much consequence for them when they screw it up in ways that hurt businesses because the businesses aren't their customer, the users are. The businesses are forced to be their customer because of mistakes like this. It's a really, really interesting position that everyone from IT providers to competing companies have been put in where sending email is as reliable as Google lets it be. I don't really know what to do about this one. It sucks. Like, I'm not going to move off Gmail. I don't think y'all are going to move off Gmail either. I don't know if regulations can fix this. I just think email as we know, it's kind of dead. Like it's harder and harder to justify investing in email right now. People check it less. They engage with it less. You're more likely to have things not get through. The likelihood people even read it if it does is lower and lower. And effectively, Gmail's killed email. It's a weird reality to, to think about, but that's where we are. So yeah, I don't know what else to say about this other than don't rely on email right now because it's in a it's in a weird place. Hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments what you think about this chaotic Gmail monopoly. It's an interesting one to say the least.